And EU leaders will be meeting later this Thursday to examine ways of financing a recovery fund for the bloc. A package of anywhere from one to several trillion euros being talked about. There are sharp divisions, however, as to how the money should be handed out, either as loans or as grants. The EU Commission saying it could borrow against the security of the future EU long-term budget. Let's get more now from our business editor, Stephen Carroll. Stephen, what exactly is up for discussion at today's meeting? Well, EU leaders will, first of all, be signing off on the package of what's already been agreed by Eurozone finance ministers. That's worth 540 billion euros and includes loan guarantees for small businesses and support for EU countries' unemployment programmes. The main topic of discussion, though, is that recovery fund. This is money that will help European governments to have their economies recover when lockdown measures are eventually lifted and to try to limit the damage that this pandemic has done. There are several options being discussed. Uh, Italy, for example, has been pushing hard for the idea of corona bonds. These are joint debt instruments that would be issued by all of the yeah, EU member states, i.e. Combine, combining their financial firepower when it comes to borrowing on the markets. That's proved quite controversial so far. Spain earlier this week laid out a plan which it would see a recovery fund of upwards of a trillion euros, uh, which would issue what it calls permanent debt, essentially grants to EU countries depending on the size of their economies and how badly they've been affected by the virus. Um, the French have put forward a plan for a fund as well. They say that that should be in the form of loans. It should be done outside of the EU budget, uh, whereas the European Commission is looking for something that's tied in with the EU budget, uh, which is also being discussed at the moment. This is finance for the EU for the next seven years uh, and will be very much linked in to the bloc's reaction and response to the coronavirus pandemic. So what are the chances of an actual agreement? There is general agreement around the idea of a recovery fund, not least from Sharon Michel, who's the president of the European Council. But the form it will take uh, still very much plenty to be decided there. Corona bonds don't look like something that's going to uh, secure any sort of agreement, at least from what we learned from Eurozone finance minister meetings. Uh, this discussion around a Spanish plan of permanent debt, it, it's apparently the Spanish and German governments have been talking about this, but what EU officials are saying is the idea of permanent debt, i.e. grants, is difficult to stomach for some member states. So perhaps a compromise might be found around the idea of long-term loans. Uh, one of the other issues up for discussion is whether the European Commission should be allowed raise money, the European Union by itself, to pay back some of the money into that fund, the idea of EU taxes, which would be a very unusual step as well. So plenty for EU leaders to discuss uh, later on, but they will, of course, have forefront in their mind the damage that's been done to the economy. New figures out today showing the sharpest ever drop in business activity in the Eurozone to a record low, and there may be more bad economic news to come as well. Stephen Carroll reporting there. Thank you.